Right. Hell yeah. Woo! Uh, welcome to Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PlayStation 2. Played on the PlayStation 4. I actually bought this game on the PS2 on eBay there the other day. But uh, then I, I, I set it up and I wasn't happy with the quality and stuff. So I, I re-bought it last night on the PlayStation 4. Along with Vice City and San Andreas. Uh, I've never played this game before outside of a half hour when I first originally got it. And the last half hour here to test the volume and shit. I played the first mission and got the first trophy. So, you know, we, we're going to restart the entire game again. And uh, watch all the sexy goodness. So far, it plays like a dream. I'm really enjoying it. Hopefully this actually goes back to the beginning of the game now. And not, you know, skipping the uh, opening cutscene or something. That girl in the middle is cute as fuck. Is this the opening cutscene? I have no idea. I, I try to skip it all to, to avoid spoilers. Damn, it's like a Tekken intro. Wow! I got shot in the intro? Small time. I'm really glad I skipped it. <laughs> Ambulance drivers threaten industrial dispute. Dude, that's fucked up. We're back in Liberty City. So many good memories here. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Of course. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Typical Grand Theft Auto, man. Tsunamis, attacks on bridges, ant invasion, whatever have you. Whatever it takes to cut off the rest of the game for the beginning part. Man, that cop doesn't even know what he's doing. <laughs> that was a really weird way to, to show whatever the hell that was meant to be. I thought it looked like a freaking um, air tank a scuba diver would use. A very strange way to zoom in. Man, this is some funky looking video game. 2001. What can you do? As long as it's fun, right? I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Don't worry about me, dude. Oh, uh, so uh, yeah, I did this part a few minutes ago to make sure it all worked out okay. And um, because the, the the volume, it's all sorts of uh, difficult. Oh crap! I, I'm gonna. I'm, oh, I did it! Did he? That was not my fault, girl. You all seen it? See this guy up here? Look at this psychopath. That has nothing to do with the rest of the game. This, this, this is the, the, the great thing about open world games. You're just driving around minding your own business and the AI decides to do something so crazy that you're, you're sitting there with your jaw on the floor. You know? Anybody can put your dick in their mouth. It's like, seriously. Jo everyone's jaw is on the floor watching this shit. That's why it was so much fun when it came out. Well, for everyone else, I didn't play it. <laughs> uh, we'll get into that in a minute. First... Let's get some clothes. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Eddie's. 
Uh, we're not on a mission. You can save your game here. This would advance the clock by six hours. I don't know if that's significant. I don't really get the point of that. I guess as a kid, you don't really think of that stuff. You're just like, ah, oh, just play it. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back, so I could probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. Hey, I don't want any life of crime, man. I I just want to see this is this shit right here. This sh this shit right here. The find fi following the map in this game. I don't. I couldn't even find the map when I paused it. I don't think there is an overview map, is there? It's just here's the little dinghy on the left. Oh, insurance fraud! It's like we're in Russia now. People be jumping in front of cars. I see how it is. Asshole. New York drivers. Let's go around the back and use the service door. I didn't skip that. Did I? I didn't skip that. Luigi's girls, I didn't skip that. I love the walking animation in this game. The walking and running is kind of kind of weird. I go in and Funky. Talk to Luigi. Hello? You, you don't do that in America, man. Black guy walking to your house unannounced. Bad things happen. Hey, Paul's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Is that guy speaking the bald guy out of the Matrix? And uh, he, he was also in, in Baby's Day Out. Is that that guy speaking? I recognize that voice. Pick up Misty. Look at this hooker. And a pimp. You got hookers and pimps. I was looking at those a few minutes ago and I was like, there's no way that's meant to be a pimp, right? Then I remember Grand Theft Auto. All right, yeah. It's definitely supposed to be a pimp. And for, forgive my... Driving skills, I may not be the the freshest of uh, uh, pickups, you know, but if, if, it, if it means anything, I'm trying my best. Hey, stop next to Misty and allow her to enter it. So, yeah, I did this part of the game. Uh, you just chill out. You get the, the fine ass, uh, finest, Hi, hottest yes. slut in all of Liberty City to, to walk over to you because you're a good looking man. And that's true. Uh, this guy, this protagonist, or antagonist, you're playing as a bad guy. He's probably the most good looking dude in all of Grand Theft Auto. We'll look at his face in a minute. He's modeled after Clint Eastwood. So I, I, I guess that makes sense. Even old Clint with his liver spots is a pretty good looking guy. Wait, did he, she not talk to me? I could have swore she said something to me last time. Okay, so you can go and see Luigi for more work or check out Liberty City. Uh, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll check. We'll see what's all about. Well, look at it. Look, look how pretty. Oh, all right. What did it say? Bad fellas. Oh shit! I love that movie. Hell yeah. I I also really like um good dudes. Don't spank me, bitch up. <laughs> hey. Luigi said. To, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys have been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. That's totally him. He sounds like a Spider Man villain right now. I want compensation for this insult. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. We 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 we'll just uh we'll have some fun. Um, let me look around. Let me look around. Oh yeah, we got some uh bunny girls, and we got some fine ass New York citizens over there, or Liberty City citizens. Inverted controls. Relax, dude. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure stuff. Oh, did you see the animation there? He was he was gonna whack a bitch. Whack a bitch. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're lucky I'm blind, lady. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a pimp. Prostitution is wrong. Right. At least when it's illegal. 
Yeah, I'm all about that legal shit. It's okay then. No, but I haven't having some pimp daddy smack smack chicks about and, and tell them to suck all sorts of dicks. Not my cup of tea, you know? Shit. Unless it's it's, it's consensual. Hell yeah. Then, then you can do whatever the hell you want. You cut her fucking toes off. I don't care. Oh, wait. Go back. Excuse me, dude. Beautiful blue. Whoa, come on, dude. What? It's... This, uh... Doesn't seem to really want to work for me. Calm down. Calm down. It's all good. It's all good. Hey. I'm looking for the guy whose face I'm meant to smash up. Have you seen... Is it you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you dead, you dead, yeah, he, he all sorts of fucked. <laughs> come on, come on, fuck him up, man, fuck him up, where's he going, he's not going anywhere, he's not going anywhere, get the fuck over here, get, no, smack, smack his skull, let's smack his skull, yeah, oh, uh, oh, uh, this is for Luigi, motherfucker, Luigi sent me, getting your blood on my new fucking leather jacket, look at this shit, 100% bitch, that's what you are, man, I'm sorry, but it's true, hold on. Hold on. Yeah! Yeah! See, this is, this is back when GTA was just nothing but pure fun. Before it tried to uh, take itself too seriously. Like most games. Right, we, we got this. We got this. I ain't done with this motherfucker yet, though. Hell no. I wanna rev. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. No. No. How do you do it in this game? That it? That's revving in this game? All right. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, you know, first game. It's the first game in the 3D series. This isn't my first GTA game. I've been playing GTA since the very first one. You know, I I, I played hours of Grand Theft Auto 1 um, back in the day. I owned GTA 2. I never played London. And then GTA 3 came out and I bought this day one. But I only played like a half hour of it. I could not understand a damn thing that was happening. I didn't know. I didn't know where to get uh, go on the on the map. I didn't understand anything about it. I was just confused. I said, "This car sucks, dude." And uh, I sold it to a neighbor of mine for like twenty dollars less than its full price, like a day or two later. I just couldn't do it. And then uh, he ended up passing the game around to everybody in the street in the neighborhood. And they all beat it. But, uh... I, I never had any interest in playing this again. Until a few years ago. When it started building up inside me. But it was really playing GTA 4 here on stream that... That, uh, solidified my desire to do that. And now I'm back, baby. Man, GTA 4 is so good. Can I look around? There is no normal turns in this. Like, uh, with the camera angle. It's only R2 and L2. I forget if it was like that in GTA Vice City, but I believe it was. I know this was definitely in Vice City, the L2 and the R2, but I don't know if there was a manual change also. In here? Oh, hell yeah. Hello? Drive the vehicle into the garage? Ah, oh, fucked it up. My bad. Doesn't matter. Did my job, dude. You didn't say you wanted it in perfect condition. Four grand? Holy shit. Crime pays. Dude. Hey, can you use taxis in this game? You know how much I like my taxis. Hey there, good sir. Yeah, okay. This guy doesn't got much of a swing on him. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Okay, nice. Uh, where were we going? Where were we going? I want to go... If you die in this... Maybe I should save it. What happens if you die in this game? Man, this guy's a nut job. We need a backstory for Claude. We need a... We need a his name is Claude. He doesn't... He didn't have a name in this game, but you find it out later. In San Andreas. He has a little cameo. Spoilers. Uh, we need a backstory. Yeah, we need a backstory. Uh, let me see. Okay. He doesn't talk in this game because he's really shy. He, he has uh, self-esteem issues. No and he really, he, he loads himself. He's 
like one of the most violent motherfuckers you'll ever come across. You know? But he's he's really good with kids and animals. Which is why he won't harm a single one of those in this game. But I'm telling you man, this guy fucking hates and I I I, I, I swear I swear. He he hates all this fucking tofu shit. Like if you if you put tofu in his face, he'll make you dog shit. Because he, he literally finds the taste better. And he tried it, he tried both. He, he's like, yo, I can't talk shit unless I know for sure. So he went off and he tried some dog shit. You know, he's a little fucked in the head. You know, he might have some low self-esteem, but but he knows how to do his job, right? He had really good style too. And you're thinking, man, how could someone this good looking have low self-esteem? Hey, it's not always about how good you look. He had a, he had a rough upbringing. His mom was like a crackhead and his dad was a... A um a male stripper. I'm a combo. What am I gonna do? Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. Hey, All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Hold up. Why are you calling me kid? We're like the same age, dude. Let me move this closer. He's like my age. He, he, in fact, I think I look a little bit older than he is. Uh, went on foot, press or treat. Hey. Pimp. <laughs> right. I don't know what or treat does, but it's okay. I think it's just supposed to camera view. Oh, he's coming for me. Oh, pimp, daddy's angry. Move. Give me, give me, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what you get, man. He, I, yeah, he hates the pimps because his mom was a crackhead, a hooker, right? It makes sense. See, it all comes together. Hey, dude, you wearing headphones? Shit. Hey girl, come on man. We got places to go. Gotta fill you up. Oh shit, yeah, I have to turn off the fucking radio. Blind is it never played? Yeah, I've never played this. I, I, well, I, I played like an hour of it. This, this is like the first I've ever gotten in my game. Ever. You know? But it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna have some fun. Drive around all casual. Back in Liberty City for some uh, badass crime. I love this game. I love the GTA games. I really do. I used to think I wasn't a fan of the GTA games. Like, people would ask me, what's your favorite GTA game? Well, no, what's your favorite video games? And GTA would never be on that list. You know, like the, the franchise. I, at best, I'd be like, uh, Vice City is one of my favorite PS2 games of all time. But I, I never really thought of it. I owned every GTA game except for number one uh, and uh, like London and stuff you know and I guess the PSP version also it's like I, I own two three Vice City San Andreas four and five and it, it never dawned me that I, I actually had all those games it's one of those I was like I love that and I didn't know it am I gonna get to play with your big ends again I'll be with you in a minute spark plug Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? You thought I had gone blind? Hey, don't joke about that. It could happen. I got a thousand dollars for delivering somebody. Man, you know, if the crime thing doesn't work out, I'm becoming a taxi driver. Because this shit's crazy. I'm already... Look, I got six grand. I'm out of prison. I broke out of prison like an hour ago. Wait, where are we going? Wait, wait. Why, why, why are we leaving this area? Hold up. Um, I want to go back. How do you do that? There we go. I wonder if it even works in this game. Like, move on away, bitches. I got shit to do. Are you serious? I have to get out of freaking car? All right. 
I see how it is. Well, hopefully it doesn't it doesn't make the car disappear then. In the other games, shit. You get into a cutscene, don't bring your custom car. It's gone. A moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Oh shit, we gonna get a time limit? You love that this guy never talks? Hey, that's not funny, man. The guy has low self-esteem, alright? He doesn't talk because he's shy. Shit. Like, oh, I just, I just want friends. I, just, I just want to be loved. Uh -huh. Why is everyone always telling me to do stuff for them? They, ne they never invite me out for pizza. They, they never ask me how I'm doing today. It's just always yelling and pointing and telling me to go kill people. It's like I'm expendable to them. Uh -huh. uh, uh, oh, inner monologues. Oh, that's all I have. That's all I have. <laughs> I narrate my own life because no one cares about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Damn dude y'all fucking Need to learn how to drive in Liberty City man So this is years before uh, Nico came along and Liberated Liberty City with its With his vigilante justice This is peak crime riddled uh, Liberty City Man your cars go smoky really damn fast in this game don't they Take the B Rolls garage behind easy credit autos. You're crashing the vehicle, get it repaired. Fuck! Okay. It's gonna be one of those missions. Let's do this! As long as we get there in time, right? Four minutes. We got it. This, this game is like really, really small. It's like the size of. Oh, I was gonna say Danny DeVito's dick. But I bet Danny DeVito has a huge ass dick. You know he has a huge ass dick. He doesn't make it that far in Hollywood looking the way he does without having a huge ass dick. Hey. Where's the, uh... Where's the fucking icon, man? You see why I didn't beat this game? Where's the fucking icon, dude? I passed it? All these pimps around. I'm not killing any of them because I'm looking for a goddamn icon. Down here. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Chaotic controls, but they're not too bad. I played much worse. Maybe he's dumb. Hey, hey. He, he has low self-esteem. You calling him dumb is just making things worse. That's fucked up. You know, how about you say something... Something nice about him, like he has nice hair. You know, maybe invite him out to the bar, you know? Buy him a drink, tell him he's a good dude. You appreciate all the work he's done. You know? Them people ain't killing themselves, man. You see all the pimps in this road? Move! Oh, the rain's really gonna fuck me up, isn't it? Please don't hit the car. I'm so paranoid. Please don't hit the car. Okay, w w which way are we going, man? We don't got a big map. In here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can't see anything, dude. Oh, that was fucked up. In here? Oh, thank God. Uh, arm with circle. Bomb will go off when engine is started. Okay. Well, we're not gonna arm it now, right? We had to bring it all the way back to to a restaurant where where some dude's eating. Please don't fucking don't touch the car. If I get one scratch, I'm gonna have to go all the way back, aren't I? Man, we, we, why are we starting off with an end game mission right away? This is hard. I can't trust the AI. I trust myself. I don't trust anything else. Look, they can't even cross the road themselves. I'm nowhere near them than they're bashing into each other. On the bright side, they seem to be going slow in this game. Yeah, if this was GTA... Uh, please move. 
Yeah, they don't, they don't care. Right. Well, I'm just gonna take my car back. I can't believe it didn't disappear! Here we go. Wish me luck. It's all good. I hope you enjoyed your, your, your meal, man. It's gonna be coming out your chest in a second. Along with all your organs. Yeah! Ten grand for murder. Man. Yeah, fucking hell. This game. I can see why everybody, all these uh, adults, would be against it. It's it's really showing you that the life of crime is the way to go. You know? It, it's like, you can't get any better than this, man. You can't get any better.